Good morning, everyone, and welcome back for another Soap Spotlight Shave. And this time we're going to use the shaving shop, uh, Francisca. And this is from uh, Peter Charcalis, uh, Charky Shaves, you might know him by. And he's uh, got his own shop running now, so we're going to give this a go. Pete sent this to me, and I'm going to pass it on to some other folks after I use it. Uh, the scent on this is nice. It's about, a, I'd say about a 5.5 to 6, not super strong but noticeable and it just reminds me of spring. If I had to sum it up, I would say spring on this. It's a nice green type scent, but it's got some other notes in it as well. It's just nice and pleasant in uh, my estimation. Let's wet the face and get going. So again, we're continuing on with our boar and let's see what we can do today with this Omega. And I always forget the model number on this one, but that's okay. Soap feels nice, smells nice, smells better once lathered, lathered, excuse me, I think it uh, kicks up a little bit once you lather it. Let me add a little more product here. This particular brush, um, when face lathering, for whatever reason, I tend to have to add more product, a little bit of water. Again, not broken in, and neither me nor the brush <laughs> on I have used bore in the past, but just not recently, and uh, so I have to revisit the product to get the type of lather I want, and that's okay. No crime in that, as I said. All right, this is going to be uh, adequate. Smells very nice. And this will be just fine. We're going to use the uh, Streamline Razor today, by the way. No problems on the lathering front here, even though I'm rusty to bore. Again, not the most gorgeous of lather, but we're interested in function when it comes to lather, not how it looks. So, let's give it one pass with the Streamline, then I'll do my other two passes um, off camera. And we'll come back and do our Shave Revolution after shave and tell you what I think about this soap. All right, let's go. This is a wonderful razor, the Streamline. Like I said, um, or I have said before, some people feel this is the best single edge razor ever made. And I'm inclined to agree, at least based on the ones that I've tried. I. Uh, I once traded one of these off and I regretted it mightily and uh, ended up reacquiring one of these recently. And I can assure you I won't make that mistake again. Don't have a lot of regrets in trades, but getting rid of this one or one like it was definitely a regret. Now, to the soap, this quality is outstanding. It's very slick. Good cushion and glide, so no problems whatsoever on performance of this soap. It is outstanding, in my view. Just very, very nice. So, we'll stop the camera, and then we'll come back for the remaining two passes and tell you what we think about uh, Francisco from the shaving shop. So. All right, folks, so we finished up our shave with the shaving shop, Francisco. And I say, if you like springtime scents, this to me reminds me a bit of vetiver and something green. And there's some other stuff going on in here, too. Nice scent, not super strong, but a very good quality for sure. So check out the shaving shop uh, for this one if you are interested in work. Today, we're also going to uh, give this uh, Shave Revolution Executive Vetiver a test and see how it goes. Smells nice, I can tell you that. Mmm, yeah. Like the smell of that. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. Let's go for another round. Yeah, it, this is a good uh, this is a good match for this uh, shaving shop Francisco. This one's called the, the Executive 
Vetiver by Shave uh, Revolution. Very nice. I like it. Okay, guys, so that today's shave was excellent. Love the soap. Love the aftershave. Um, you guys have a great day. And remember, keep them up and keep them open.